And we're back with a fresh episode, of course, of Popcorn 10 Podcast. It's brought to you by Pop Central. And guys, thank you so much for being part of the entire conversation. It's always great showing up here, chatting with you, talking about movies, talking about this actors, producers, you know, directors, and everyone's journey, you know, through Nollywood and everything in between. Today, I've got someone really special for you. You know, we've been to the South, we've been to the West, right, we've been to... Of course, you know, every other part, the East, of course. And today I'm bringing somebody from the North. And this is an original Northern son of the soil. Absolutely spectacular when it has to come with, uh, when it has to do with acting. And um, of course, a highest grossing actor, you know, in Nollywood, one billion in the bag, someone who's done Netflix originals, an AMVCA uh, a nominee, and he's just done exceptional work as far as, you know, acting and producing is concerned. And yeah, he's a fine man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very amazing Uzi Usman. <laughs> <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Drama just entered the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the alpha now? I'm good. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Yeah, you're doing so well. Thank you. Me. I thank watch you. you every day. Hey. My eyes on you. Hey. <laughs> Don't you whine me like that. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. You know, I appreciate so it. What's up? What's I'm alright. I'm okay. Thank you for coming. By the way, Uzi has been filming all night. And yes, he did. Yeah. He even forgot that he was supposed to be here today. What else to tell you? I will. Pop, pop Central men, guys. You yeah. guys are huge. You got a family. Yeah. I had no option not to run down. Right. To this Thank place. you for coming. Mm. You know, how are you doing generally? Apart I'm from fine. being stressed right now. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm pushing it. <laughs> this is a life see. you wish for, though. Uh, yes, but it's crazy. Yeah. You know, the economy, we have to work extraordinary yeah. hard. Yeah. Because the, we've been paid in Naira. Mm. So if you convert it to dollar. You're paid in Naira? Yes, of course. Even when paid. you do, like, you know, Netflix originals? Yes, you've been paid in Naira. Yes. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're still being paid in Nero because you're filming here, mm. and um, uh, they might pay the producers in dollars, yeah. but go down the, the line, mm. you get money in Nero. See, there's a lot to talk about, Uzi, and I really don't know where to start from, but let's start from your AMVC nominee, the film that got you nominated. Voiceless. As the AMVC, a voiceless thing 2022. Yes. Best actor in drama. Mm. Talk to me about that. What was the feeling like for you, and how was that for you? It was time? everything for an actor. Mm. Trust me, um, is it is the dream of every actor to be nominated for AMVCA. Mm -hmm. uh, some might be, be pretending that, uh, that it's one. a big deal, big as a word yeah. in Africa. Yeah, you know. Yeah, some might be pretending like uh, maybe they didn't get nomination. Ah, that nah, word. Nah, they're not truthful. They're not this. But no actor, take it from me, mm -hmm. no actor is growth that don't want to be mentioned on that stage that day. Being nominated is one of it. It's a proud thing. Then winning it mm. is another one. Mm. You know, it's, it's going to skyrocket your, mm. your fame, career. Mm. your career globally. Mm. Because they're going to watch it live yeah. across Africa. That's true. So uh, whether we like it or not, is one of the most recognized awards right now in Africa, mm. especially for actors, mm. filmmakers. Mm. So it was, it, was, it was a huge one for me. Mm. I actually thought I'm going to win it because of the performance. But it was one in that year? category. Timini, no? It was um, Stan Lindsay oh. with Rattlesnake. Ah, oh, that was a tight one. Actually. Yeah, it was. But you were brilliant in Voiceless, you know. Yeah. And let's really talk about that character. It w he was ruthless, you know. Uh, I mean, he had to do what he had to do. Yes. Um, the entire military thing. Do you have, mm -hmm. like, military background? Yes, my father is an Air Force officer. But it's not... Makes sense to me. <laughs> Makes a whole lot of sense to me. But now. I don't think it's beyond that. It's beyond that. It's a lot of research when I got the script. Mm. I Actually, I was on that set as a line producer. So that's the funny thing. The person that was supposed to play that role was Shagwa Renzi. Oh. So they, they were waiting oh. for him. They were waiting for him. They were waiting for oh. him for like one week. He could not make it. Then the producer wrote as a female told um, the director they had back and forth. I didn't know. I was just there to go produce with him. So they were having back and forth. It was like, okay, um, Uzi's, uh, Uzi face is innocent. Let them not see him coming. Let's see. Let's just give him the role. He can do it. And I did it. And, and that is it. Boom. It was everywhere. Crazy. Def I mean, I think that's what really introduced you to me. Yeah. And yeah, and I was very excited for that. But I mean, in the true sense of it, when did you start doing acting in Nollywood generally? Okay, so um, I've been producing for two decades now. I've been producing for two decades now. So I How old are you? 
<laughs> I started very young. I'm 35 years now. Yeah. So you started like at 15? Yes. Yes. In short, I started producing 15, at 15. 14, 15, yeah. You were in uni? I mean... No, not uni. I was in secondary school. You were producing from secondary school? Yes, in Kaduna, yes. I started doing most of Norton content. Like... I did Oga Abuja with Osofia then. So I had this entertainment thing right from childhood, but I never knew I'm going to be in front of camera. I just wanted to be one of the big filmmakers in Africa. So I got support from both parents uh, before my mom died, especially my mom. Oh. She was really supportive. So, you know, you are always attached to your mom so they know what their son actually really wanted so they can mm. push for, for that. So basically I started really, really early. So I started acting officially 2015. Wow. Yeah. So when it's going to be like 10 years next yes, year. Yes, yes, like 10 years. Yes, approximately like 10 years officially when I started acting. Mm. So with um, a, mo a serious, a, a movie called Mustafa mm. by Mary Rennie. I remember Mustafa. Yeah, yeah. before they turned it to series. That was my first film I, I Mustafa. Acted, yes. And that really made you, yes, you know, yes, it gave me household name. Now the thing is, how were you able to do that switch from being, you know, a proper Alsa actor, in the sense of it, you know, to you know doing uh, um, general, you know, movies and just getting to the grand scheme of things? Okay, I think it's it's, you know, they keep testing you as you're mm -hmm. going as an actor. They keep testing you, and if mm -hmm. you pass the test, they give you other one. They give you other one. So basically, that's it. Mm -hmm. So I think from voiceless. Yes, most of us give me that. Most of us give me that um, grassroots numbers because the television, purely mm -hmm. television film, then they turn into a series and it's intercultural story, mm. the, the north and the southern story yeah. of love. So it gave me that basic grassroots numbers, but Voiceless took it to another level mm. in terms of um, performance and in terms of where the movie is going to. It went mm. on Netflix. It was everywhere. So I laid on it immediately. Yeah. I laid on it immediately, so I started getting calls from bigger yeah. producers in Lagos, yeah. like Funke Akindele. I remember very well. Funke called me after watching Voiceless. Is it? Yeah. She sent me a DM, and she asked for my number and called me, and she praised me. I will never forget that night. She, she when was this? What year was this? That was 20... Immediately, they, they released um, Voiceless was 2021, during COVID time, immediately after COVID. Immediately after COVID, that's when they released it in cinema. So she would call me, and she was like, Uzi, I'm following you on Instagram. I'm doing this. I mean, you're a great actor. I have a story for you. I, you, I, you have to bring you to shoot. I have one story. That was 2011. And she started telling me about... 2021, sorry. Mm -hmm. That was 2021. She started telling me about a tribe called Judah, actually. She called me and she was like, hey, there's a film. I want you have to do this film. I want to do this film for you. Blah, blah. So, you know, she went off again doing other projects. So when... Um, last year, she now call out. You remember that time I called about that film? I want to show that film now. Now is the time to show that film. So we came on board and we showed that film. Yeah. And I think, I thank her so much. Um, a Trap Called Judah also took me to another level mm. in terms of popularity, mm. in terms of acceptance in Hollywood, mm -hmm. because now they could see that, okay, I could do something more better than, more deeper than the normal Northern. Yes. Um, a child of Jedida from the <laughs> north, yeah. but still yet it's more like... It was, there was a range. Yeah, 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 there was a range. Basically. So, personally, I really love your Alsa. Your Alsa is so good. <laughs> ha! You know, like, it's it's very... You can hear that this is like the conk yeah. Alsa, you know, thing, and, and it's great. But like, let's talk about the tribe called Jedida. Mm. That character was a very interesting one. It's like the car... The, I mean, the first son, yeah? The one... Second son. Second son. Mm, After the like death of the first son. Yeah. Making it, you know, uh, um, you went all out yes. for your family. It was yes. like you were the one holding yeah. literally the family. Yeah. When you got the script, you know, finally from Funke, what was, you know, what was going through your mind and how did you think you were going to play out with that character? When I got that script from Funke, I remember she was in America. She called me mm. in, in the midnight. We talked, talked. She was like, Uzi, I'm going to fly you to Lagos. I want to see you. So I came there, it was me, Jide Kene, Ulumide, the boys, literally the boys, five boys. So she was like, she held me in my shoulders. That's to tell you how deep Funke is as a filmmaker. In front of them, she held me in the shoulders and, and she said, Uzi, this is the film for you. 
Uzi, she said it three times, I will never forget in um, one hotel. Uzi, this is the film for you. Uzi, this is when you prove you're an actor. Uzi, this, the shoulder of this film is in your hands. And I have reason why I want to use you. Mm. That's what she said. And I said, okay. So from there, oh boy, fear and time, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> because somebody like Funke, an A-lister, mm. in terms of production, in terms of acting, in terms of everything, she's an A-lister, telling you that. So I was like, you better come ready. Lo mato. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, went, but I think that gave me strength. I went to break the script into smaller particles. Mm. Well, I don't understand. I always call her. So, and then she now kept us in an apartment, the five boys, mm. for close to two weeks before principal filming. We were there. She was feeding us. So she wanted us to born naturally. She kept us in an apartment for close to two weeks. So that was it for me. Mm. So we now bonded naturally. Mm. As we're shooting, we're shooting like actual family scripts, mm. you know? So, but I was very prepared for it because I knew that, yeah. you know, Funke is a one-time thing. Yeah. So if it comes, you have to grab the you opportunity very well. Yeah. You have to prove it. Mm. So and I used it and I proved it and she was impressed. Even on set, anytime I shoot, finish, she would clap, stand up and clap and clap. So that was, no, that's when you know that ah, you are doing something. The thing could enter you. <laughs> so Scream. when it came out, it was well accepted. Yeah. And we all pushed it and... Yeah. and we'll one billion now we'll be this. come on <laughs> one, one be. share this money yo. share we'll this be, money we'll yeah. <laughs> love it for you now for me you know what really stood out for me for your acting has to be the fighting scene we have to wow. talk about the fighting scenes because yeah. there was a lot of fighting um, you fight 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 oh i'm like yo Let me fight myself, ah, <laughs> <I thought. laughs> i'm like yo was there a body double no 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 there's nobody she double. doesn't do body double yeah she has, she's so patient. I told you, she's so patient as a filmmaker. I think that's why she's very successful. Mm. That's why she's one of the most successful filmmakers in Nigeria. And the reason is she get prepared, extraordinary. Mm. Uh, Pre-production is something else. Because she got a, cho a, cho a choreographer for us from mm. Kenya. Me, Jire Kene, uh, uh, me, Jire Kene and uh, Boma. So... She said, we have to do it ourselves. So the guy comes, teaches us every day for two weeks before principal filming, especially me. <laughs> you fought, you fought, man. You did fight. So she was like, we must do it ourselves. So every time we were shooting, that I remember very well, we did those scenes for 19 days. We shot it for 19 days. Every night we shoot from night to morning, the morning time, yeah. we go and sleep. It was, it was crazy. It was, I felt sick, I woke up, I sick, I woke up. It was crazy. It tried to do that a lot of hard work. Trust me, that thing you sent there, yeah, a lot of hard yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, the fightings were very, you could see that your efforts were being put into this, mm -hmm. you know. And you, you fought a lot, you know. And, like, is there any question I really wanted to know was, you know, while fighting, you know, I mean, I know it's choreographed. Um, choreographed, you know, mm. and all of that. But at the end of the day, while, while fighting, what is like the next thing in your head? Is it, oh, I really need to get the moves right? Yes. I need to, what's the next thing that I have to do? I need to remember to get it right. Mm -hmm. what, what's going through your head, you know, through that process? Okay, so most of, the, as I said, most of those fights, the entire fighting sequence was shot for 19 days. So most of those fighting scenes, we always shoot half and come back the following day. We always shoot half and come back the following day, like, uh, so I am always want to do a one take thing, mm. okay. but it's not working, yeah. because Funke is a perfectionist. So you do it, she wants to do that thing again and again and again, so that she can to have options right. mm. to use in the studio. Mm. You understand? So she is, she is an artistic director. Yeah. You know, she, she walks through your emotion as an actor for you to bring out the best, because she's an actor. Yeah. A great one for that matter so she would demonstrate how you are even supposed to do it and then boom you do it and you see that it's perfect amazing yeah. who, who did you have most fun filming this project with tribe culture who did i who did you have the most fun filming the project with the funny thing is uh i think it's going to take a long time for me to have fun on a set like that again it was everybody was just a crazy set of human beings I told you we were born, we were in a particular apartment for two weeks. Yeah, you mentioned. Without filming. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine. So we became so close. The boys, we became so close. 
so close like beyond, your, beyond your imagination that at times timini you know timini is my very good friend everybody knows that Nollywood is like my very good friend so he always leaves his room to come to my room to lie down and sleep jine kene always i'm um, one that naturally <laughs> Apart from the fame, naturally. I'm oh, the one you bring that, everybody together. Yeah, I'm the one that everybody comes to his yeah. room. Because I'm always having things in my room. My boy will go and buy it. So they'll come to my room. We just, just, just gossip Nollywood. Gossip <laughs> this one. Drink alcohol. Drink this one. We'll play. We'll, you know, we'll play what? We'll do this. We'll do this. It's my room that is like, like, it's like meeting points. Home point. Yes. You know, so then uh, Ulumide don't sleep at night. He's the only one that doesn't sleep Queen. at night. He's the one that will go and prepare. Every, that last one thing you see in that movie is natural also. You'll be the one to go and prepare things in me and this and that and come and share for everybody. While we will be arguing. Me, Tina Gene, Timini, will argue, 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 out, 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 out. You know? Um, Toby is a calm one. That's the funny thing. Yeah. Toby is a calm one, but yeah. in, in the movie, is the very. But he's the calm one, yeah, I know. actually. I know. He's, a, he's, he's always, ah, who's he? I'll tell him, Toby, support me. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just be calm and, you know, be laughing, always laughing. Mm -hmm. But Timini is a character. You know, at times the set goes hot, Timini will want to bring it down. Mm -hmm. You know, he plays a lot. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he crack jokes a lot. Mm -hmm. Funke will make us dance by force by fire. You know, she, you can just be standing. She'll just come and turn you and say, oh, yeah, let's start dancing. You know, so it's a fun. The yeah. most funke, Timini, always bring the fun yeah. out of everybody. Yeah. That's the most. Yeah. You know me, I'm kind of calm. Kind of calm, yeah. In short, it's Timini that is always, and Jide Kennedy that is always bringing me out. You look like the Wala person, actually. Unfortunately, I'm not. Mm. The Wala person, I'm telling you now, is Timini. Mm. No, uh, by default, we already know that. That's the fact I'm telling you. He's the one person. <laughs> he looks for trouble. He brings jokes. He yeah. dances. You know, you, you, you will just be standing. Timmy will just yeah. pour a pocket of water in your body. Oh just like God. that. For no reason. I'm telling you, just with costume, oh, <laughs> you have to wait for that costume to dry. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's You guys, it looks like he has had a lot of fun. You know, Toby was here. Yeah. And Toby said, you know, that, oh, Uzi, uh, that's my guy. He's my guy. He's my... I'm like... You know, so it just made me realize that. And then he was saying that, yo, your character, you put in a lot of work, you know, the fighting scenes especially, you mm -hmm. fought the most and stuff. So one thing I also figured out is that you guys giving yourselves accolades is something you guys just easily just do, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just very beautiful to, mm. you know, watch. And now we've seen a trap called Judah, mm -hmm. you know, going doing successes in Nigeria here, in the UK. Yeah, we're going to Ghana. US next month. Oshay, you guys are well done. Keep it going. Two billion coming through. <laughs> I think we're at 1.5 now. Ah, ah. Yeah. Mado. Mm -hmm. This thing is possible, man. Yes. It's possible. That's Did you think it was going to be this successful? Okay, yes. We know it's going to be successful, but not this successful. Because I remember very well when we were filming, like Joke, the director, the, uh, the second director, the co director, mm -hmm. um, Captain Dexy, mm -hmm. and Timini, mm -hmm. and, and Tifunke, they always joke a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, look, uh, they joke a lot in that sense. I won't lie to you. <laughs> that thing you see that is serious minded. Bro, if we shoot if we shoot one scene, they have to play, 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 play and shoot one scene. And eat, 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 eat. I'm screaming. At, at, at Funke again. You go chop. She has made everybody fat on that set. Every, two, two, four, seven. They'll bring chops. They'll bring this. They'll bring in the night for shooting overnight, they'll bring cool out of jellof rice. Oh, you moving smoke. So you have the option. When you see the smoke and everything. Smoke you, yes, you have to eat it. So they it, it's oh, no it's uh we had fun like mm. fun I'm, i won't lie to you mm. so at that point the co-director and and Tifunke and timini they always maybe someone did a great performance mm. you know that kind of thing they'll mm. be shouting what billy gang let's go right on set i'm not kidding see it's like coming so power of tongue and, and there's faith among everybody from the crew member to the cast so at times, you know, when the crew maybe getting tired, they have work overnight or mm. something like that, you know, they will encourage themselves with, let's go, one Billy Gang. I remember the DOP, fantastic guy, Bernie, mm. Barney, mm. fantastic, one of the best DOP right now. Mm -hmm. He always encouraged both actors. I remember very well. At times, I, you know, you get overwhelmed, you get tired. Mm -hmm. They will just come and meet me that, oh boy, you are doing well. So let's do, they, you know, the crew member, they will push me, push me, push me. So it became a family thing. Oh. 
That's, that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. You know, great stuff, you guys, for um, Trap Culture. They're very excited for that project. Of course, Uzi, you know, how amazing he did that. Do you think that this is probably going to give you, you know, an A in this year or so? I don't know. You know, let's be realistic and sincere. A Trap Culture is, is a five-man lead character story. Yeah. yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the way we have um, the way we have reasoned it and the way we have tabled it among ourselves was like, if you don't get nomination, anybody that got nomination, we Support. all need to come around and support that person. You know? So it's not... But it's something you guys have talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a competition thing mm -hmm. among us. I think mm -hmm. Funke did that. Mm -hmm. She tried to... You know, she she's as she's taking the full responsibility of a mother would with that project. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm mm. saying? She's taking it upon herself that I am the mother. Mm -hmm. Even though maybe some of you are even age mates with me, but no, this is a project that is dear to my heart. Yeah. So she's taking the full responsibility of being a mother yeah. to everybody, including those that are even her age mates. Yeah. Using maturity to handle it. So she's always telling us that it's not a competition thing. Mm. Please, guys, it's not a competition thing. You know, Amazing. always reminding us, yeah. you know, if, if you are succeeding with this project, you need to support them. Mm -hmm. If you are succeeding with this project, you need to support mm -hmm. him. So that's it. So, mm -hmm. and I think that goes a long way for yeah. all, all of for us. You. Yeah. I can just pick my call this morning and call Toby, hail him, hail him, hail him, hail him. I would say, Toby, go to um, TikTok. You are the one trending, number one. You know, they're seeing your line. You know, I was putting, we have a group. I'll put it in that group. All of us will run there. Oh, she. You know, all of us one day go and come here. Tomorrow might be Timini on, on Twitter. We say, ah, Timini, they don't go carry something with a pickpocket too. You know, we'll laugh about it like that, like that, like that. So that's how we have been That's beautiful. That's so anybody yeah. that got nomination in MVC, yeah. might be me, it might be yeah. Timini, it might yeah. be Toby, it might be Jide Kene. We are all going to round yeah. hit that. But you have a feeling that one of you will definitely get an MVC for that. We press so. You know, MVC is a very funny award. Yeah. The movie you think you want to kill yourself for, you might not get nominated mm. for it. Especially now that it's strictly for jury. Mm. You know, that categories are yeah. for jury now. As it should. Mm. Honestly, I think that at this point, yeah. Um, I was talking about the the you know change of you know plans from viewers actually voting for these categories to mm. jury. And I think it's it's fair because at the end of the day, like the the viewers they would make a decision based of you know fan base mm. and you know, who that. has Push the more in that, so I, th I think it's it's pretty much okay. So I think it's a two way thing yeah. also. So it's going to because I'm a realistic person. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a two way thing in terms of popularity. That is going to reduce the popularity of the show. Do you think so? Yeah, drastically. I don't think so. Of course, drastically. Okay, so even even the big awards in the world mm -hmm. have voting categories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why are they doing it? But they're still voting categories. Uh, but the voting categories are not for popular people anymore so but right. i'm just telling you the they i'm giving you the advantage and the disadvantage. i feel you i feel you so the the advantage of getting stars to go all out for that makes the spread the, is, express awareness yes make it go far make the award that's the reason why the award is so intense and is the most talked about award whether we like it or not in nigeria and africa is because all the stars that are nominated and looking for vote and telling people go and vote and making noise are tagging Mm. And that is on a period. But when you get relaxed, they nominated Ramsey, they nominated Majid, they nominated everybody, Timini, everybody, all the stars, you know. But they know that it's Judy. Okay, no problem. If Judy, give me fine. Judy, no, give me no problem. They might not even post it on that page. I feel you. Mm. <laughs> that's a good way to think about it. So and that's what I'm telling you. I'm that's a, a good way to think about person. it. Mm -hmm. So it's a two way thing. Mm. It's good for the actors. Yeah. And there are good like actors who are deep actors. Yeah. You understand? But they don't promote themselves. Mm. You know, we have actors who don't really promote themselves. They're not a social media kind of people, but they're deep actors. Yeah, it's good for them. But also Yeah, I can I can think of some people already. Yeah. So it's also do you want to win the award and nobody knows you won it? So this is what I think. I think that, yeah, because it's it's a jury, mm. we don't know who are in the jury right now. We don't know if they're ever going to announce who is going to be in the jury or not. But what I do know is that I believe that with the integrity they've created over the years, they should be able to put people in there that are very neutral 
and are able to make a decision that would stand. And it's a jury. Uh, a jury is made of people that actually know what filmmaking is mm -hmm. and what filming is or what a movie is or what makes mm -hmm. up a movie. And so they should be able to make a decision. However, if you put it up as a viewer's choice, people go ahead to vote people that are more popular and maybe do not really do as great you know, as I they know. should have, you know, in, in, those, in those films. So, so it's, a, it's a thing of, do we take credibility over fan base or do we just say fan base over credibility? And that's what I'm saying. The, the African magic viewers shows that we need to find balance. <laughs> yes, you must create category for that. Mm. And with the stars also, mm. you have no option. But there are other categories though no, no, that involve uh, the major category is about best actor, best actress, best supporting that's it. But I would like you to know that's where the stars are. That's what the nominees the stars are everywhere. The, the filmmakers, <laughs> oh, whether you like it or not, I can call 10 filmmakers' names for you. Now, you don't know them. Mm. And they're doing great. Mm, tell I can me. call their names for you. Tell me. No, <laughs> tell me. No, do you, do you know Kenneth Gang? Keep going. <laughs> you said 10, mention 5. I can, I, I not like presently, you can't put me on that hospital, but I, can, mm. I, I trust me, I know great filmmakers. But they are. So people behind the scenes are great filmmakers. But now we're talking about actors, people who we can people's faces that we can see on our yes. screens right yes so if that the, the conversation is going with people's faces we can see there is no actor that we should win that category if the actor if we did not see that the work of the actor was really good that's what i'm saying you know they need to create like you see the way they, they have best actor in, in drama, drama series best actor in, in comedy so, series so in in, in voting category mm. should be different then they should have maybe a particular that's, one that will be just for voting. Maybe just one. So you're saying that... To cause chaos everywhere. So you're saying that, you know... For example, I mean, they obviously have the best actor in drama, right? So they should do best actor in drama, voted by the jury, and have another category that says best actor in drama as per voted by the fans. Maybe there should be one, just one, mm. that is the award of the night, like both for male and female and something, but it should be for voting. That will help the category for jury even more popular, so okay. that everybody will see that jury one that won. They know he won because of his talent. They know, mm. but the award needs to be popular mm -hmm. for people to even know that that guy with talent even won best actor. Mm. Mm. I stay, with, I stand with the MVCs though, and their plans, you know, and what they've decided. To I will now. give you. I will still remind you. I'm going to be in the MVC. They've contacted me for presentation. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm going to remind you. You see the difference between last year, last mm. two years, and this year. Let's I see. I'm looking forward to it actually. You see the broad that it won't be like. Let's see. Because let me tell you something, yeah? Over the years, the MVC is, is you know, people keep saying, oh, because the person is popular. For example, Osas Igadoro has mm. won Best Actor in Drama twice. Mm -hmm. You know, back to back. And, back to back. and people are like, what? What is happening? Why mm. did she do this? You know, and we forget it's a viewer's choice. But you have know? you watched the film? I have. So and I think she did great in the film. Did so did every well. other person in that category. She did. You see, yeah. Uh, I'm not even that close with us. Mm. Yes, I know her very well. What film are we talking about? The Man of God? Yeah. Man of God? The Man of God. Now, it's, do you know what's crazy? What's funny? Man of God, you know, Osas was nominated. But then the lead in Man of God, Akan Nani, male lead, was not nominated for. Yes. Which is crazy. <laughs> and then we also had Annie Kolakbo. The film itself was nominated. In almost every category. But then the actors in it were not. Kunla Remy was not nominated. You know, it's it's. Okay, so so the thing you know. is the thing is you know it gets to different categories. Mm. Award shows get to different categories before the main one, mm. before they, they announce the nominations. Mm. So those people that will select reduce film to from hundred mm. to fifty to it's, ten. There's nothing anybody will tell me. It's either there's somebody in there that you know like no no no, no. yeah or because yeah. yo they did great with their films to be honest. The movies know? are the people are from South Africans. They don't mm. even know Nigerians. Oh, let's see. Let's see what happens this year. I'm looking forward to what happens here. But guess what? We have to go on a quick break now. When we are back from this break, we're talking about a very major project, you know, that is already here on our lips, on our screens, and everywhere. It is the Popcorn 10 podcast. Stick around. See you in a bit. Welcome back to the show, everyone. It is the Popcorn 10 podcast right here. And thank you for, so much for still sticking around and still being there. I uh, absolutely appreciate it. Uzi is still here. Yeah, I'm, I'm with my popcorn now. Yeah. <laughs> Uzi, eat the popcorn. You don't like the popcorn. I like it. It's not bad. No, you can say the truth, though. Nobody will beat you. I promise you. It's salty. Sugar is not good for you, so. 
It's good, guys. It's good. But let's talk about this project that is literally on everybody's lips. And it's like the biggest thing in Netflix right now. Mm. Talking about Annie Kolako, the series, The rise Return of, the of I, I, I beg your pardon. The Rise of the Spectre. What should we expect from this one, Uzi? Uzi happens to be an actor on that one, ladies and gentlemen, and he is stirring really strong mm -hmm. in that one. Talk to me about it. A Nicolas Body series, Rise of the Spectre, is mind blowing, mm -hmm. spectacular. It's going to change the face of um, filmmaking in Nigeria to the global world. In terms Just of. Just chip in this, guys, real quick. Uzi hypes his projects a lot. <laughs> so as he goes on it's just going to go on and on you may continue sir <laughs> so basically is um it's a cooler for Lanyo, for god's sake mm. he doesn't get it right technically mm. uh, he doesn't get it wrong excuse me he doesn't get it wrong technically mm. and this time around he went beyond and above mm. he went beyond and above the budget was budgeting in, in terms of cast in terms of storytelling, mm. in terms of production value, trust me, bro, it's top notch. It's mind blowing. Mm. It's a series. It's going to be six parts series of sure an hour each. That's crazy. And there's nothing like that so far out of Nigeria to global. Talk to me about your character. My character is is a crazy one. They won't see it coming. It's about the Islamic aspect of um, the northern part that came in through. through Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay, grab okay. popcorn. <laughs> uh, mm. Because it's tough. Yo. You could choke. Yes. So, it's the, the Islamic, like the Islamic, the northern Islamic side, I came through the um, Oyo Empire. So, I came um, a prince. In the community, the northern community, I came to the Oye Empire and I want to get married to the princess that everybody wants to get married to. The audacity for me. And then they said, you have to fight the prince. And the second guy, the second in command, he wants his son to take over from the king. So he wants his son to marry the princess also. So there's a lot of fight also in this one. Brutal. Oh my God, look at me. The fights. Here. That's what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you, you said I'm hyping. If I told you, even before we start, that after you watching it, um, um, Anikola, well, you're going to call me and send me money. Yeah. And I bet you. <laughs> the fight in Anikola well, is local fight. It's not, it's local. You know, local fight takes a lot of energy. It's me and Latif. We did a lot of fighting in Anikola, mm. just to win a girl's heart. Good they fight for There's woman. There's a lot of drama. Mm. <laughs> There's OBD. a lot of intrigue, mm. and he's locally made mm. because of culture. Mm. So he's because I was going to ask you how you were able. To, you don't speak Yoruba, do you? Yes, I don't, but I, they teach me. So he spoke Yoruba. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh mm huh. -hmm. He spoke Yoruba. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Mm. I spoke Yoruba. I spoke Hausa. I spoke Arabic. Method actor. Love that for you. Yeah, I mean, there's most kind of the you say. Because one thing I love, I do for Nollywood. Last, last. Nothing in man. <laughs> I don't cry. I don't dance. I don't sing. I don't fight. I don't do Yoruba. <laughs> I don't do pity. Nothing. Thank you for giving me this award. <laughs> <laughs> you don't strip. Now you don't strip. Oh, uh, I mean, who stripped the last time? I be it was a uh, it was cooler now. But I can't also. It's not a big deal. Depends on the no. school. Yeah. yeah. Is it? It depends on the story. Of course I can. This is interesting. You know, Annie Kolakwell is back and everyone is saying how great it's going to be and mm -hmm. how we should look forward to it. But generally speaking, I mean, you, how, how long did you guys film this project for? Two months. Uh, and, and you said you were, I, I hear mm -hmm. you were on set for a trap called Jada and... Mm -hmm. It was crazy, my brother. Tell me, I beg. I was shooting a try. I was shooting Annie Kolakwell first mm -hmm. and the, the schedule. I was supposed to finish a month before mm. I start a trip. I couldn't finish because, as I said, it's a very big project. Mm -hmm. And Kula Falayan takes his time. He's one of the directors that takes his time to get the best. It takes his time to get the best. And then the schedule of um, a trap called Judah came on. So I had to come to Lagos, go back, six hours journey back to where we're filming. 
I'll do some days here, go back and shoot, to just complete an equilapo. I finally completed it and I came to face a trap. That's crazy. That didn't stretch was, you. Because two big projects at the same time. Bro, I fell ill, seriously. It was Funke that really helped me, treated me well. Because after a trip, ended up after I did Kulako, I finished. So I think I came to you a trip. To fight again. To Why are you fighting in your life now? I don't know. Hey, you look at me, oh. <laughs> Simple. Calm. In real life, you don't who don't like fight. I don't like Wala. Oh. Mm. I don't like please me. I like money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming. Love this for you, Uzi. Honestly, it feels like 2024 is your year. Yeah, I think so. Thank yeah, you. I mean, so let's 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 talk about the, you know the fact that you are you don't even base where quote unquote guys you know where they say Hollywood is. You mm. know we know where Hollywood is. You don't you don't really base where Nollywood is. Mm. You always have to come in. Yeah to Lagos, right? Mm -hmm. How is that for you? Like, how are you able to, you know, do that? It's not been easy, mm -hmm. but I think I just needed, um, I don't want to be together with everybody. Mm -hmm. Because that's where I based even before the film comes on board. So, but I, 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 I love how I go to sit with the family, with my family once in a while. I come back and do my work. Mm -hmm. I go. That gives me the right to have total control with my career. Mm. You understand? It gave me the right to have total control with my career mm. because I I reject jobs a lot. A lot. So you cannot even know, you don't even know where I am. What's the criteria for rejecting jobs? Story. Oh, so you have to read the story. I, 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 as I'm coming now, right now, I'm reading script inside the car that brought me down to this place. So I read script a lot. It's not working for you. Yeah. It is not connecting all. It's something that I've done separately, separately, because we repeat stories a lot. You don't want to be stereotyped. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And the platform, the things are going to. I do all platforms, mm. but who is handling it? Mm. I have YouTube producers who are great, mm -hmm. who have done their job for them. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I keep doing it mm -hmm. because they are good storytellers mm -hmm. and they don't joke with technicality, mm -hmm. even though it's going on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I love the way they see, mm -hmm. the, the way they, 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 they tell their stories. Yeah. Um, so. Interesting. Do you have plans to move to Lagos anytime soon? No. Are you sure? Nothing's yes. going to pressure you to do that. No. There's a lot of pressure. So why are you not moving there? Uh, because I just want sanity. I just told you. I just want. Yeah, I miss Abuja, true. Yeah. I do miss Abuja. Uh -huh. For that. I just want sanity. I just, once mm. in a while, if the Lagos is too hot for me, I'll just hold my phone, and enter plane, straight to Abuja. Mm. Two weeks, nobody. Mm. You have a family there? Yes, I do. Is it? Mm. So you're married with kids? Mm. I don't talk my life. I don't talk personal. <laughs> you almost said it now. Just say it. Just say this thing. No, 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 no. No, no you're Nobody not married. Nobody knows anything about that side of me. Don't worry. Let's just leave it like why? that. Why? Leave me on the streets. No, but why though? For now, no. They will know at the right time. For now, no. Mm. Mm. So that means you have a family. I do, I don't you have a family? <laughs> <laughs> don't you have a family? Are you, are you alone? <laughs> No, like wife and kids kind of family. You don't have a family. I don't have a family of my own. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a family. My father is there. My, <laughs> my mother is there. <laughs> my sister is there. My brothers are there. So I have family. And so you have kids. I have family. Okay. Well, let's let's leave that one. You don't you don't want to spill on that. Okay. But I mean, your your industry is a very very dynamic industry. Nollywood is crazy right now, mm -hmm. and it feels like you know we're taking over the world and just doing major stuff. Mm -hmm. What is that one thing that you would do? And you're like, yes, I have made it in my career. Or have you done it already? Um, or was that one thing that would happen to I you? I think it's a learning process. We're still learning. Mm. Mm. I think we still need more bigger job, international standard, mm. something like Anikola, but more. Mm whereby we have collaborative of Netflix coming to collaborate more with filmmakers. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need to do more of that. Mm. And also connect more with my local audience. Yeah. That's the reason why I do You it. should do that. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it feels like you're beginning to leave them and I probably start feeling about, oh, you don't leave us, so... No, you know. really. I, I, the thing is, I want to give them something more better mm. than what they are giving them right now. Mm. So I want, to, I want to be part of the... the I want to be part of that name from the north who have taken the map of north to global standard. Mm, I think you've done that already somehow. Yes, I know, but still yet. 
Mm. I think I need to push that orientation mm. more. Yeah. yeah. And you love your people so much. What's that thing that makes you just love being from the North and just being very unapologetic about it? Because, I mean, we can see that in your... I mean, I'm shocked to see you in T-shirt and... <laughs> I'm and telling you. Because normally you're in your... My cap. Your cap, <laughs> your normal Northern regalia, you know. So why do you push, you know, advocate for the Northerness and for the not so much? Because I think the Northern gave me everything. I think they gave me the fame. I think they gave me all the support that I needed when I, was, when I started. When I was doing all the Northern movies, the dancing films and all, when I was producing... Oh, you used to dance? I don't dance. I produce them. Yeah. So I, I, I think I got all the all the support from the north my films mm. used to sell even from the vhs time they used to sell very well very well so i need to give back to the society mm. that's really made me who i am today mm. Mm. that's that's pretty interesting mm -hmm. and the other you know northern actors as well in that category Michael would you say it would be okay to call you the northern first son well if they call me that i don't mind i, I can shoulder the responsibility <laughs> Sure you can. You know, as far as this industry is concerned, you're mm -hmm. nothing's first son. Thank you. Right? Mm -hmm. So now, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> guys, nothing first son. You, that sounds pretty much great. Mm -hmm. um, any projects you're working on at the moment that's coming lot. up pretty soon? Let us know. Tell a us. Oh, okay. I am producing my film also. Ooh. Uh, so I'm producing my film in, I'm starting in the next two weeks. So. What's it called? <laughs> Title name for now. <laughs> It's working title for now. Mm. So, and then I have, um, I have, I just finished a job in Putakot Covenant. It's very big. Covenant by me, Shola Shobuwale, oh. Gideon Okeke. Okay, I think I saw, I, I, think I, saw I think I saw BTS. That was huge. Mm. Yes, by Vincent Okonko. Lovely project. Yeah. That is one project I'm really looking out for. Mm. Lovely project. Yes, yeah. that started there. So, I have, couple of jobs. So the projects you're working on, um, you personally, the one you're producing, who's on it? Timini, myself, Timini, a lot of Northern stars, Alinu is in it, Rahma Sado is in it. Ooh. Yeah. So basically more like that, yeah. Interesting. Listen, uh, uh, while we were, well, before we just came, you know, to record, you were talking about how Nicola is going to feature in like over 100 and something countries. Yeah, it's going to be the only... Nigerian film mm. out of Nigerian mm. that, has, that is going to air in 190 countries out of 194 countries in the world. Just only four countries are not going to say. Yeah. And that's because Netflix are not in those countries? Those four countries, yes, yeah. because Netflix are not in those four countries. So it's going to be in 190 countries. There is, it, I think Kulapo, the series Rise of Inspector is a very huge one. It's a big one. Trust me, I'm telling you. We went all out for that project, all out from the yeah. cast to the crew yeah. and all that. The story is something else mm. to keep you glued to your mm. seats. What is your DM like? I'm just wondering. I always talk, me and you always talk on DM, so I always give you the attention. You know that. It's not me. It's basically me and you. We talk more, <laughs> so there's nobody else. Nimu, it's not me. So I'm checking something real quick. Do you know what I'm checking? Mm. The most asked question about you online. I always like to check this. What do you think is the most asked question about you? I don't even know. I think you should check it. I mean, what do you think it would be? Maybe marriage. You're not wrong. Question is, is Uzi Usman married? That mm. is the most asked question about mm. you. Mm. Maybe marriage. Yeah. And what is it about your parents, though? Because people keep asking Uzi, who are who is Uzi Usman's parents? Mm. So the thing is, the thing is, uh, the, the, because of the way I'm, I'm doing everything possible to balance um, career-wise from this side and that side. So there was a time there was a lot of con um, controversy on my religion. A lot thought I'm Christians, a lot thought because of the way I relate, the way I'm free. Because a lot of Northern actors don't, they are afraid of such. So they, there's limit to what they do. But like me, you see me, I party a lot, I play a lot. You know, I, I, I'm just free with, with this side of, um, of the industry. So that happens to bring a lot of questions of, is his parents Christians? Is his parents Muslim? You know that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So that keep coming up. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things when mm -hmm. career is booming. Mm -hmm. 
So in 2022, you denied a particular marriage rumor. <laughs> Why are you smiling? You denied a particular marriage. You debunked rumors that you secretly got married to a co-star, co-actress <laughs> in your popular TV series. Was that for real, for real? As I said, I don't, I don't want to talk personal. Lizzie, it's fine. We will, we will know the truth. Of course. You know, eventually. The reason is, mm. I think, um, um, somebody that just wants, let me just be facing the hits. Mm. Because is I think to me, it's mm. very important. I don't want, it's not good for an actor to bring out all his family out there. You are out already. True. True. You understand? You are out already. Yeah. So your kids, your wife should be one thing that yeah. should be the, 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 the productive yeah. and protective side. Yeah. Of yeah. your life. I think you've answered my question. Thank so you. So you can run. No, I don't. I didn't I tell think you, you have answered know. my question. I, I didn't, didn't say tell you that. But I think you've answered I'm just telling you generally. Yeah. You answer no. How yeah. many people knows his wife and his kids? You don't have to. That's the thing. But, yeah. the, the, but the, the thing is, you don't have to know the wife and the kids. But are you married? Do you have kids? It that's, depends. I don't want know. people to know that for now. And that's okay. Yeah, it definitely. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually very okay. You know, this really. But talk, so I'm not married. Okay. You, you finally answered the question. Mm, I'm not married. Are you Christian or Muslim? Of course I'm Muslim. Ah, yeah. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. No wonder. I mean, people always wonder, you know, because that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm a deep Muslim, actually, beyond the expectation. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't see the mark. On yeah, that is it. You know, you need to see it. What's one thing about Islam they really love so much? About how they keep reminding you to be close to your God. You keep praying every day. That five time prayer that you have to go. If, if, in case you're doing something bad, you remember that you have to go and pray. So that gets you close to your God again. So do you, you, you pray five times every day? I just pray before coming down to this place. Is it? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm. That's really good. Do you do alcohol? Do you do. No, I don't drink alcohol. You don't drink alcohol? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm a crazy party dancer. I, I love party, I love noise. I, in short, I'm the one even sharing the alcohol at times to friends, but mm. I don't take it there. Yeah. That's interesting. You know, it's, it's been amazing getting to, you know, know you on like a very, you know, different level and all. Um, if there's anything that is very interesting is the fact that you're very, you know, loyal to your religion and also is loyal it? to your career mm -hmm. and just trying to find a balance, you know, everywhere. I'm also loyal to people mm. who has taken me to this level. Mm. Extremely. Mm. What is one thing you never do in Hollywood, no matter what happens? It's to betray people who have trusted me to mm -hmm. help me no matter what. Ow. Mm. What is one character you would never you would never act? I don't think there's a character I would never act. I don't think so. I'm an actor. I'm, mm. I'm here for it. So there is no character you would you don't think I can do every character, yes. Trust me. What is what's the plan for you? What I can do is when a story is not connected, not character. Mm. You know, there are a lot of stories that you don't make sense. Not, Why? Yes, it's not connecting so that I won't be part of it. Yeah. I try my best. Hmm. Not to be part of a story that people will not learn something yeah. from. Yeah, five years from now, where is Uzi? Hmm? Five years from now, yeah, where is Uzi? One of the most talked about actors in, in the world. Hmm. In the world? Yes. Looking at the Oscars? Really, I'm winning that. That means I'm one of the most talked about. Good luck with that, honestly. I, I think it's very possible. Of course it is. Yeah, it's something that can be done. So I'm rooting for you, you know. Five years ago, they hmm. told me I am going to be... Nominated in MVC, I'll say it's a lie. Five years ago, the term that um, I'm going to I guess girls do a to. movie that will cross one billion, I'll say it's a lie. So let's go. Yeah. Next five years. I'm rooting for you, man. Mm -hmm. like, I know you will Thank do you. great things. And I, know. I know that, you know, it's very. The funny thing is, I know you like me very well. Right. Yeah. I mean, I know because of the, the way you keep attention to, the, the way you said some some important things in my career in terms yeah. of films. Yeah. I never knew you have even watched Voiceless. Mm -hmm. I was so shocked. Mm -hmm. You're saying it. No, I watch a lot of films. Mm -hmm. I'm a movie critic, so I mean, I watch, I watch films. So I was so shocked, so I, was, I yeah. really do appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uzi, no, Uzi, Uzi has an amazing career, you know. You, so one thing in Nollywood that I really look forward to in um, actors is when we can see the work trail that you have done. Like, the, you can the, literally the see range, the journey. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it started from here, something mm -hmm. happened here. Mm -hmm. You know, so all those milestones. And I think that you've been able to tick all those boxes. Yes. You know, with your career path. And, you know, it's just very brilliant to see. Thank and you. I know you would do, you know, I definitely know you would do great stuff. Thank you so you know, much. So we're Thank rooting for you. you Thank know. you. Yeah. So what would you say to your, I mean, your fans and people who've been supporting you from day one 
and who've just been there for you. That's your can. Okay, guys, please. Thank you for supporting the brand Ozzy Osman. Um, now goody. Now goody. So say, Speak proper houses. Do like three sentences. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for supporting the brand Ozzy Osman. Um, now goody. Now goody. So say, so say. Allah will engage you. Tell me, Allah is saying Al Khairi. Um, you need to know Ozzy Osman. Then Allah. Then Anabi. Kuchigaba. The tell me, come now. Kuchigaba. The color Nollywood. Do one film as cinema, a streaming platform, Netflix, Amazon, YouTube. Kudi ka kalanshi. But don't come here. But the mama, my mama, I've been what does that mean? I don't say that she keeps supporting the Hollywood so that we can eat food. <laughs> because country talk. Yes. You know. What are you doing after now? Shots? Yes, shooting. Oh, right. You're shooting and stuff. Would you thank you so much for showing up and chatting it's with me pleasure. right here? On, you know, right here, we really appreciate it. And, you know, next time we sit and chat, hopefully, you know, the envy says it in, the Oscars are in more projects, you know, uh, in more successes. Anytime. And stuff. And maybe. I'm, I'm may a family here now. Yeah, and maybe. Shots, enter my Lagos, I'm in this place now. Yeah, let us know when the wedding happens, too. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Popcorn 10 Podcast. Please feel free to let us know what your comments are. Follow us across socials, as you can see on your screens, at Popcorn 10 underscore on Instagram, on X, and every other platform. Of course, uh, you can also follow This Is Pop Central on your screens, as you can see. Follow Uzi on socials at Uzi Usman, Usman across Everyone. social media platforms. And you can also follow me at Grand Prince Ita across social media platforms. I want to see your comments on YouTube, though. Drop your comments on YouTube. And, of course, always watch Popcorn 10 every Friday at 8 p.m. on DSTV 189. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.